So, what do you think of artificial intelligence? Let me state it clear, my friend. Technology is coming no matter what you think of it. It's taking over the hard work that we had been struggling to do. Take, for example, physical labor. Machines now provide more efficient ways to do hard work, as they have been described by many people. They are the mechanical muscles that facilitate our lives, making a lot of progress possible. Proceeding to the mental labor, uh, in which machines uh, are taking away steps to be quote unquote more intelligent, maybe one day they will be intelligent as they are. Oh. Hold your horses, my friend. Arguably, there are about three types of artificial intelligence. Artificial narrow intelligence or weak AI is specialized in doing similar aspects to human intelligence. And this already exists, like uh, the program that checks your email for spam, uh, or the one that does autocorrect for you while you are writing the script of this video. The second one is artificial general intelligence or strong AI and it is capable of doing what the humans have excelled at over machines and are considered to be simple tasks like 3D recognition or recognizing relatives or taking the, the stairs for example but these tasks have already been done by robots and general purpose robots are not a dream of the future they are actually a reality robots like Baxter who can do simple tasks that he was never programmed to do or Watson who is planning to be the best doctor in the world he can understand what you say in your own words and provide a prescription that suits your medical condition. If you are unsure about his uh, capabilities uh, to communicate and think you get to see him be the best of us at Jeopardy, they may need improvement, but they will eventually be spraying among us. But why should we even respect intelligence to us anyway? We can theoretically create robots that are more intelligent than us. This is called artificial super intelligence. I think that this means that to reach a point or after the point, machines will be able to evolve rapidly. They will do that in a rate that biology won't be able to compete against. Humans will be far less intelligent than robots. But what do you think of the consequences of having super intelligent machines or systems in our societies? Do you think we will benefit from them by any means? Uh, let me ask you the stereotypical questions. Will they try to kill us? Okay, there are two scenarios for this. As the robots kill us, for regarding us as a negative impact or no use, or we will live in luxury with them. Robots will provide, uh, will provide the means to have a happy life. Concepts like work for money or working hard will be off, will be off the past. And people will, uh, will uh, be doing whatever they want to do. They can do sports or art or just relax and enjoy their happy meals at McDonald's. And, and why do you think the capitalists who create these robots will happily get the money for the society? What do you say I uh, think is socialist or Marxist? Where the goods of the country is spread equally among individuals who live in, this, in that society? But these concepts are of higher success on paper than in reality. And if we are not enslaved by robots, we will be enslaved by capitalists who create these robots. And by any means, what are the forces that will drive these people to be socials? Uh, hey, what do you think? Tell us in the comments.